All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first faculty episode of Insights by Outside Times, the one-stop shop podcast for everything to know about the first batch at IKM at Thompson. Today with us, we have Professor Somdatta Banerjee. Now, she has taught us principles and practices of management in the first year that we were here. To give you a, bit, a brief about ma'am as well, she is very much into entrepreneurship. She is the owner of Soms Studio as well. She has, she's been heading the incubation center here at Doms. And apart from that, she holds an MBA in finance and strategy and has an experience of summer school at the prestigious Harvard University. We'd like to welcome you to the podcast, ma'am. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Ayush. Ma'am, to start off with, you know, the whole portion of, you know, having the journey at Doms, interacting with the IPM batch and figuring out things here as they were, as, as volatile as they were, they were extremely experiential for all of us and very helpful for all of us. Certainly. Ma'am, so what was your thought process before, you know, selecting IPM as your forte to teach the first batch that came here? Okay. So I have had an excellent uh, positive interaction with the first uh, batch of IPM at Nalsar and uh, in fact I started my academic journey at Nalsar with this batch so this batch is very special to me <laughs> and um, uh, when we started uh, I was aware that uh, these are the students who are joining us after doing their class 12 right yes, so uh, unlike an MBA course where uh, people have exposure in their bachelors Yes. or perhaps they have uh, done a job for a couple of years. Uh, these are uh, very young students and um, uh, I thought that, um, you know, initially I was a little apprehensive, yes. but I was pleasantly surprised to see how smart and intelligent this batch was and uh, very bright and already a lot of exposure. Um, they seem to be having quite a bit of understanding as to uh, business. Right. So that was very interesting for me and also very encouraging for me in the classes. Ma'am, uh, talking about your experiences from the starting itself, now our first trimester as we remember was online, right? The first That's two correct. trimesters were completely online. We mm -hmm. I in the third trimester and said that gave us a better purview into the college life as well. Right, right. So ma'am, what was your experience online wise with the batch? Because you couldn't see everybody's faces, you couldn't interact with everybody <laughs> and the select few that were there you were able to interact with. That's right. Um, so Ayush, um, uh, over... Uh, uh, the COVID period, yes, I was working with IIT yes, uh, at their incubation center and um, there I executed some seven programs and uh, multiple government of India initiatives and all of that was done online. Yes. And uh, in spite of uh, COVID uh, going on, everything was executed as per schedule and uh, because it is, uh, you know, taxpayers money, we need to give proper uh, report to the government at uh, scheduled interva intervals. So um, uh, I already had that background of uh, doing online, um, executing work online um, while working from home. Uh, however, uh, when we come to academics, we are uh, dealing with real people. Yes. And sometimes to conserve bandwidth, we would switch off our cameras. <laughs> So I had a class of uh, 60 odd uh, students and all I knew were, uh, was the name uh, on the <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> screen and uh, so it was just a panel of a grid of people, right. Right. Uh, my students and the laptop in front of me and right. that was pretty much it right. and then at the end of that semester I had a very emotional, <laughs> a very, very emotional uh, uh, session wherein it was my last session and that day I requested everyone in the class to switch on your cameras and they did and there was this beautiful, it was like a bouquet of flowers with all these lovely smiling faces of my students Then, and I was so touched that I was actually teaching those people and um, instead of a grid of uh, blank squares, I saw those lovely smiling faces and uh, I was uh, deeply touched, you know, <laughs> deeply touched. Yeah, I remember that one <laughs> last class that we had where you asked us and there was absolutely zero hesitancy and all the videos yes, came on at once yes, in a span yes, of five seconds. Certainly. It was quite an emotional experience. Uh, uh, yes, it was an emotional <laughs> experience for me as well. and. 
um, I, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. Ma'am, so uh, coming into this one portion where we know it's the first IPM batch at Dom's Nuts. That's it is right. going to be the flagship course for the plus 12, plus 2 students that are going to come, right? So, ma'am, mine is going to be like a two-fold question. One, why Dom's and why IPM? And two, why PPM as your subject for us? Right. Um, that's a very nice question. Um, you know, um, um, just over this last couple of weeks, uh, we have had... Um, in excess of 1,000 odd interviews of yes, potential uh, IPM students for the next batch. And this is the exact question I asked those students and those candidates that uh, why IPM and why IPM at Nalsar? And uh, most of them had the same answer, which is um, the IPM course at Nalsar is a unique. Uh, amalgamation of management and law, yes, ma right? Mm -hmm. So we have consumer law, environment law and other law courses which are offered from third year onwards and I have not heard this from any other uh, IPM course anywhere else in India. So that is one part of it. So what happens is when our students graduate I think uh, they have an edge over other IPM graduates, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a very unique exposure and uh, which uh, gives them the perspective of or the application of law mm -hmm. in business. So uh, when I was given the uh, PPM 1 and 2 courses, which is principles and practices right. of management 1 and 2, over two semesters I taught the first year IPM students. So this is a very basic um, uh, 101 level course wherein we uh, uh, teach the basics of management and um, as I was saying earlier that many of these uh, students, the IPM students, they come from uh, science or arts background yes, and they may or may not have had any exposure to commerce or business. So it is very important to start from the basics. So, uh, uh, the PPM courses basically um, helped with the theory part of it and uh, I have uh, 21 years of experience, uh, industry experiences um, uh, over various companies like GE Capital. So I was able to bring those uh, practical uh, experiences into the class and help these young students with this PPM 1 and 2 course. Mom, because I remember when we came, especially when we came offline, I was a science student. I had no idea, you know, how the case <laughs> right, studies right. method worked. Uh, but once I came, I remember we did a lot of case studies along with our preparation as yes, well. Yes, so yes. So PPM classes, we had the course schedule with us where you said, now this is going to be a case study part. Books band kardo, we're going to give you a separate PDF which you're going to read out from. Now I remember case studies like the Uber case study we did. Right, and right. Uh, I think there was an airline case study we did where we were talking yes. about one of the incidents that happened where one That's of the doctors correct. had to be you know, taken out of mm -hmm. there and why it was a man management failure on the part of the company. Right. Ma'am, so my question to you right now is now it's going to be 12 standard students that have come out now and they've, they've right. recently come out. Mm -hmm. Why choose a case study method, you know, to interact with them and get them to come out of their shell in this case as well? Right. So, Ayush, what happens is um, as uh, academicians or as teachers uh, or as students, we are exposed to books as our core method of learning. However, life is not just about books, right? Like. In fact, when we go into the real world, we see that um, theoretical things may or may not apply into practical experiences. So it is very important to bring in case study into the mix where we take real life examples of what has happened out there in the world and try and uh, analyze it. So if you remember, Ayush, how I uh, uh, implemented those case studies is, uh, I did not ask you to do it as a homework or even as a classwork or even as a team or group study. Right. We actually cracked the courses together as a team, you and me both. So we would read the case together. We would read the English, the, the context of it. Okay. 
and then we would try and understand what happened and try and analyze the situation. So it was more about the business logic of it instead of just focusing on a business concept of it. Right now. Right. This sort of like, I think it helped me develop a more a lot sort of an analytical yeah. thinking. <laughs> because I remember every time we used to have this one row of people that would read and after this one paragraph were done, you would pick up the next student and say, now, what does this mean? Because we had to take out the major pointers we took out from this whole passage, figure out what's the, what's the points we should take care of and what's the points we can actually rectify in the coming up parts as well. Um, so, uh, coming to the sort of the sort of a more informal note in this case certainly what were one of the more fun experiences you had with the you know the if you their course of teaching in this case as well both offline and online in this case what were one of the most fun experiences that you had with us i think without a doubt the coming of the screen <laughs> <laughs> yes, the yes, movement <laughs> the move from um, you know uh, online to offline that right. was a huge thing for me and then, um, um, you know, continuing with that uh, thought, you know, when I entered my classroom and I was greeted by the 60 odd students and I was like, oh, okay, oh, so you are Ayush and you are, so it, that entire thing, you know, just um, focusing on a black screen and a grid of um, names on, and that is not a class for me. For a class, I need students in my class, nice. physical, physically present. Huh? So um, that was a big, um, I mean, uh, if you call it a fun experience, yes, right. or I would say uh, an impactful experience for me. And um, apart from that, you know, every, every day it's something new. I mean, I come prepared for my classes with uh, uh, PowerPoint slides, but um, uh, you know, sometimes the class goes as per schedule, sometimes we start discussing something else altogether. And, um, you know, I'm always open in my classes uh, to discuss anything and everything. Um, but, uh, you know, the primary focus of all my classes is to uh, build you not only via the theoretical aspect of books, but more importantly, so that you're prepared for the world that is out there. That is very important to me. Right, ma'am. Mom, I remember the first PPM class I had. We walked in and I saw this whole MBA class while a hall coming in <laughs> and everybody had their laptops on and I figured out that, that now this is the B school. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we, we started and we dove right into case studies. We started figuring mm -hmm. out business concepts from the ground up. And I remember you talking about, you know, your clients with, let's say Swarovski in this case, with your with your, the gem business as well, right. how you expanded, you know, Pan India and Pan India and actually not just Pan India, you have, you have, you had clients from all over the world in this that case That is as well. correct. And I remember you telling us, you know, how in this case, the setup of a business works into place, how will you, you know, have the marketing done in this case. I, I, I remember you telling us something about a Facebook marketplace as well, where you tried to figure out your clients from this place as well, along with your website, which you, you know, which you showed us to as well. Yes. So actually... That was one of the places where I need to figure out if I wanted to start something, I have this sort of a foundation that I can now grow up on. Okay. So I, that actually helped us, you know, figure out outside X as well. Because after we had PPM as a course, we knew that at least foundations we have correctly that with correct. us. That paired with the Amisa's courses, right? We had, we had, you know, sole proprietorship, you know, mm -hmm. LLCs, how mm -hmm. they work, you know, things like that. We combined them from the first year itself. And, you know, with the help of all our professors, outside X itself was born. Uh, Ma'am, what were some of your takeaways from the first batch and what do you think you will do differently for the first year batch that will now come? Hmm. Um, well, uh, actually I will not do anything different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite happy with uh, how we progressed um, because uh, I learned so much from the interactions uh, with the students. It is always a learning uh, process for me as well. Hmm? And then uh, uh, from um, bringing my business concepts in the class, there were also people in the classroom whose parents or some other relative uh, had, uh, you know, launched their own business. And that also brought in some perspective for me. So for the new batch, I'm not going to change anything. I'm right. going to stick with what works. Right. And, um, you know, uh, not only the case studies that we did, but uh, the movies that we watched together, right. the, the selections of the movies, yeah. uh, I think they were very beneficial for everybody. 
because once again what we read in uh, books gives us the foundation to running a business but once you start running your own business or start working for a business then you start seeing how things actually work in real life which may or may not be what you studied in books right. so uh, <laughs> i'm looking forward to the new batch right. and um, you know hopefully we again go on another journey together yes ma'am ma'am actually why, why don't we take one more sort of a dig in question in itself Sorry. i remember once you mentioned the movies itself i remember we watched sully and the whole plane scene of you know where it landed the, oh, yes. the whole plane that uh -huh. into the hudson river That's and right. the whole trial that went on and you know the back and forth negotiation skills that worked out mm -hmm. the management that worked yes. out in this case where a disaster management portion also comes in absolutely so ma'am although it was extremely beneficial for us we had we had to figure out how this thought process came into the professor's mind that this is now going to be a teaching moment for them ma'am how did movies come into your you know role to play as a teacher and help us out in our understanding of the business world with via movies in themselves actually i need to thank my professors in uh, <laughs> drury university from where i did my mba in us uh, where we watched uh, some great films um uh, so uh, the thing is uh, i instead of relying just on textbooks i prefer a lot of audio visual aids for right. my students right. and also when you watch a movie you forget you are learning something okay yes. so my idea is how to make it interesting and easy to understand okay because in a movie the um, uh, the director producer does that for you if you have to capture a plane landing in the hudson river if i say it in person or i give a book for you to read it okay there is only so much you can imagine but if you watch it in a film right. you see the tension building up of the pilot having to decide that okay my engines are not working my engine 1 is gone engine 2 is gone how am i going to you know i have the ownership of so many souls on board and i have to take ownership of it and bring everybody to safety and bring myself to safety as well how do you decide so it is just an example for example sully was an example of uh, a pilot landing a plane in the hudson river but you can you will be forced into similar situations where you will have for example you are in a difficult situation and the team is on you your juniors your subordinates or your team members their livelihoods are on you how do you bring it how what what decisions do you take and um, so this was just a, a, a way of you know uh, uh, bringing uh, using uh, a movie uh, and uh, uh, showing the negotiation skills or showing the decision making process because uh, real life uh, is very different you know we have to decide on the go and um, whether or like it or we like it or not we make impacts we our decision makes impact not only in our lives but also in the lives of people around us right ma'am that would essentially be you know in this case as well where a sort of a semi stimulation if what if that happens to you that is correct what is going to be your decision process in itself that is correct all right so that would essentially you know help us out in this case for getting a business context down from a completely abstract idea of a plane landing mm -hmm. getting it down to what, what if it what if the plane was your organization and you're the with the person at the helm of it what happens when there is a disaster on coming and you have to figure out where to steer the plane right ma'am so this would this should essentially bring in the end of our podcast as well i wanted to thank you so much we for spe you know spending the time out with us and helping us out with thank this thank you very much i hope the incoming batch that is coming in is also going to help us out with the case studies you know the movies that we watched the insights that we learned in this case which is why we called our podcast insights as well because you know there are a lot of things that you learn in a b school that is not just textual is going to be insight based as well so we hope the we hope the coming in batch has the same insights actually and builds upon more than we do Thank you so much for watching guys we will be back with yet another speaker yet another professor in our faculty series in this amazing podcast series by the first year batch of ipm at domsnatsa thank you so much for watching thank you